this spinning rod right here. It's my gander mount setup. You guys have definitely, definitely seen this before. It's a, it's a pretty nice setup. It works for what I do, but um, I want to go fishing. I have a lot of homework to do, but um, I have plans at six. Let's see what time is it now. The time right now is 3:55, so pretty much four o'clock. I'm gonna see if I can go fishing for an hour, come back, do a little bit of homework, and then get dinner with my family that is still in that I said was coming in for my last video. But uh. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the little intro. I definitely, definitely enjoyed rigging up that rod. I uh, thought I might be a little, kind of, I guess you could say, out of luck when it comes to using that one, but I forgot that I bought some line and can now use two rods. But uh, yeah, the spot that I'm going to, you guys are gonna see that. Um, my new subscribers are probably gonna recognize that pretty well. But uh, before I say anything else, I'll see you guys at the pond. I got myself, oh, hold on, yep, there we go, perfect. I got myself a little apple fritter and um, water and um, a GoPro and um, two rods and uh, it is time to go fishing. I know I said in the last segment, I will see you guys in the water, but uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to talk some more, so um, yeah, it's kind of, Kind of cold today, so I threw on my hoodie, rigged hoodie. Shout out John B. But um, yeah, it was kind of really cringy thing. But um, anyways, yeah, fall conditions. Got two rods. Got a spinner bait on one, and I'm gonna be flipping a Senko on the other. Enjoy the video. set all right so I want to take this as it's relatively not windy um, I want to apologize for, I want to apologize for the wind noise that's gonna be in this video when I go off the GoPro I already know the wind is, or the audio is just gonna be horrible because of this wind it's a, it's a fall day though what can you expect but uh, anyways yeah I'm just gonna keep walking now because I only have about 45 minutes left to fish but uh this is taken or this video is being filmed at the same spot that uh my worst backlash ever video was filmed and like I said before if you're a new subscriber you wouldn't know that because uh that video got like 10,000 views it's at 9.6 now and it's still just exponentially getting views so uh yeah it's, it's kind of cool kind of kind of not cool I mean let, let's talk about that video for a second I'm And uh, sorry for the for the noise, guys, but here we are. Um, I'm gonna set this camera up right on this trash can. And ooh, three pair of pliers. I don't know if I'll keep them, but yeah, it's kind of nasty, actually, all rusted. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the place we're fishing. Enjoy. Alright, so I got a, uh, I think this is a, yeah, this is a Yum Dinger. Got the pegged Texas rig. Goes, yeah, it goes this way. I think I'm gonna start off with the spinnerbait though. I feel like that's what they're gonna be biting on today. Fish. Little guy. <laughs> he came off of the one dollar Walmart spinnerbait. Well, actually, no, he was, he was hooked though, right? Well, this is the little fish. This is my prize fish of the day. Um, I mean, I guess I can't complain. He uh, he came off that one dollar spinnerbait. Second cast as I came over here, so um, I'm gonna get him released because uh, the little guy probably doesn't want to stay out too long. Sweet. Even though he was just a little guy. I think where I found where the fish are gonna be. Oh. 
Oh, oh. Right at the bank nearly. It's about the same size as the first one. I was looking for a little bigger, but uh. Oh, splashed fish grease in my. Th this. Check this out. This guy has a bite mark on him too. Might even be the same fish, but uh, I mean, hey, I'll take him. Boom. Fish. Oh, base. A little quick tip for all you bass anglers out there: when you're running spinner baits, one little tip that I can give you is some people think that you can just reel them in and catch fish every cat. Well, not. Some people think that you can just reel them in without doing anything else, like a jerkbait or anything, but let me tell you, when you give it some more action, like, so say I'm just reeling this in, then I give it like a little quick jerk, then slowly reel it, kind of speed it up a little bit. If you give it some more flash like that, trust me, you will definitely get more bites. It can trigger some different strikes depending on what kind of mood the fish is in. Sometimes if you just reel it in really quickly, and then give it a stop. It'll cause a strike or just quickly, then slowly reel it. You know, my second fish came off of a pause, like a long pause, and then I was right at the bank and I started to reel it in some, kind of like this. And then he just hit it like right about there. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh. There we go. I was not, I mean, he's not a giant, but he's definitely bigger than some of those other fish. Oh, that felt nice. So what happened was I casted out the spinnerbait and then I sat down and then I just get this huge strike. You know, my rod starts dipping down. Hold on, let me get the big camera. So yeah, like I was saying, I um, I cast it out, then I sat down, and uh, this little guy hit, so I'm gonna get the release on him. He's only about a pound, but um, better than those half pound, maybe even quarter pound dinks that I was catching earlier. <sighs> oh, that was awesome. <sighs> it's been a successful evening, but I uh, I think it's time to call it a day or at least about that time it's about five o'clock I have until an hour until I have to go to dinner with my family that is uh it's gonna be at the place I work at or at the restaurant I work at so that's gonna be kind of cool or weird or whatever I don't know I've been spending a lot of time at work you know putting in those hours and uh yeah I mean that's kind of how work works but work work and I don't even know what I'm saying guys it's been it's been a nice evening you know, I'd rather, I'd much rather do this than be cooped up in the house, either watching videos or uh, doing homework, which I do have to go home and do now. But it's better to get out, catch some fish, film it, upload it, and let you guys watch it and hopefully enjoy it. So tonight it's been fun. Well, the third time I've said something like that, but uh, it's time that I'm call it a day. Head back home, edit this video, do some homework then meet my family for dinner. So I thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, I don't even know what I'm going to say. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Blake's Fun World. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>